friends, today we'll be having fun multiplying decimals. Multiplying decimals is similar to multiplying whole numbers. There's just one additional step at the end. Today we are multiplying 32 and 45 hundredths by 12 and 3 tenths. The numbers that are being multiplied are called factors. Let's forget that the decimal exists and we are multiplying whole numbers. Now let's begin! You are now going to take the digit 3 and use it to multiply all your top numbers from right to left. So first, 3 times 5, then 3 times 4, then 3 times 2, then finally 3 times 3. 3 times 5 is 15. We are going to put down the digit in the 1's place and carry over the digit in the 10's place. 3 times 4 equals 12, plus 1 you carried over is 13. Put down the 3, carry the 1. 3 times 2 equals 6, plus the 1 you carried over is 7. 7 is a single digit number, so there is nothing to carry over. 3 times 3 equals 9. We are finished with the 3. We are going to take the next digit 2 and use it to multiply our top numbers. Before we begin, we need a placeholder zero in our second answer row. That is because our next digit two is in the tens place, so we need to make the first digit we write ten times larger. Now let's begin. Two times five equals ten. Put down the zero and take the one over to the next number. Two times four equals eight, plus the one you carried over is nine. 2 times 2 equals 4. 2 times 3 equals 6. We are now finished with our second answer row. We are now moving on to our next digit 1. 1 is in the hundreds place, so we need two placeholder zeros to make our first digit in the third answer row 100 times larger. Now let's begin. 1 times 5 equals 5. 1 times 4 equals 4. 1 times 2 equals 2. 1 times 3 equals 3. Great job! These three rows are called partial products. Now let's add 0 plus 0 plus 5 equals 5. 0 plus 0 plus 3 equals 3. 5 plus 9 plus 7 equals 21. Put down the 1 and carry over the 2. 9 plus 4 plus 4 equals 17 plus the 2 you carried over is 19. Put down the 9 and carry the 2 plus 6 plus the 1 you carried over is 9. 3 plus 0 is 3. Now for your answer. Your next step is to put back your decimals. 32 and 45 hundredths, 12 and 3 tenths. 32 and 45 hundredths has 1, 2 digits after the decimal. 12 and 3 tenths has 1 digit after the decimal. In total, there are three digits after the decimal. So, you are going to go down to your answer row and count. One, two, three. Your product is 399 and 135,000. Thanks for watching.